In this video, I want to explain you our plan of attack uh, to solve this problem uh, over the next few hours. Uh, at the outset, we'll, we'll, we'll start with setting up Python and installing a bunch of uh, installing a bunch of libraries and packages that we need. Also, a bunch of tools that we need uh, for this whole workshop. For those of you who don't know Python, you could actually take the second section, which is uh, which is some basics about Python programming language, uh, all the basics that you need. Uh, so that so that you can comfortably code this whole uh, code up this whole workshop okay but this is optional mind me those of you who know python or who think that they can pick it up on the fly it's fully optional it's completely optional for those people who think that they don't need to go through that right the third section is data acquisition in data acquisition we learn about how did we get this data from amazon.com so as i told you that we are going to solve this problem uh, by by using actual data from amazon.com so i'll explain you how we got the data and how you too can get the data very easily from amazon.com and by the way you need to be policy compliant you need to be policy compliant you can't just go and uh, scrape the websites on amazon.com there is a clean policy there is an api that you can use uh, to to obtain all of this data we'll explain you what how to get this data right uh, but those people who do not want to run through all of that we give you the whole data in a zip format which you can download now the next thing is we want to clean this data as much as this word cleaning so cleaning basically is you're given raw data and you want to clean it up so that it's in a format and it's 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 in a format and uh, that we can that we can employ for our job right so data cleaning is a is an often overlooked overlooked aspect of data science and machine learning but a very very important task lot of times i have had instances in my career where i spent almost 50% of my time cleaning up data and this is extremely important because if you have unclean or unusable data you cannot do any machine learning on it right once we clean up all of our data we will we'll i'll i promise you that i'll explain each of the concepts that that, that are listed here in full detail through this course okay so uh, the next topic is data preprocessing so in, in data preprocessing uh, or text preprocessing to be specific. So in this case, in this, what we'll do is we'll take all the text that we have, right, from our from our title, right, and we will employ a bunch of data preprocessing or text preprocessing techniques in, in nature language processing. These are all nature language processing techniques. We'll employ all of them to clean up our data or to process our data, right? So this is often called as text preprocessing. This is about all the stuff that we do before you go do actual machine learning and AI, right? But these are these are very specific nature language processing techniques. Once we're done with cleaning up and pre-processing all of our data, then we'll dive in and understand a few concepts in linear algebra, like what is a vector, what is what does distance mean, and what types of distances are there, and things like that. So once we understand a little bit of linear algebra theory uh, with with lot of geometric intuition, I promise you. But I'll try to cover all of these mathematical concepts with geometric intuition so that it's easier for most students to understand what's happening because we humans are visual creatures and geometry is extremely useful for us to understand concepts, right? So once we're done with this, we'll solve the problem using text. So then we start building text-based product recommendations. In this, there are three broad techniques. We will use modified versions of these as we go. We'll use something called bag of words, a TF, IDF, and word to vec Bag of words and TF-IDF are classical techniques that search engines used to use or search engines even use today. So these are techniques that, that natural language processing folks uh, discovered or invented for, for search engines. Right? word to vec is a more recent technology. This is, this is from 2013. Okay? This, is, this, is, this technique almost came at the, at the start of the whole new AI revolution. So this is almost a state-of-the-art technique that I'll explain you at an intuitive level. Explaining the word to vec in full detail is, is a multi-hour task. So what I'll do here is I'll black box this, but I'll give you an intuition. I'll give you an intuition on how word to vec works. Once that is done, we go and solve the problem using image-based techniques. Okay. So here we'll use state-of-the-art deep learning. Right? We use state-of-the-art deep learning techniques. But it's almost impossible to cover state-of-the-art deep learning techniques without covering a lot of other mathematical techniques. Hence, what I'll do here is I will simplify this. I'll give you the I'll give you the intuition. I'll black box. I'll black box some of the details, which means I'll not go into full detail 
how the image based techniques works but i'll give you the intuitive understanding of how it works so that and we'll solve this problem using deep learning okay but remember i'm not going to all the mathematical gory details here it's almost impossible to do it in a short workshop like this right in our actual course at applied ai course we go into full detail explaining how how the whole image based technique works how 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 deep learning we, we derive fundamentals of deep learning from first principles and we learn that in our actual online course the the next topic is suppose you have built all these solutions how do you know which solution is good right suppose because in this course we'll try multiple solutions to this problem now how do you measure in the real world if you're an engineer at amazon or flipkart or any other e-commerce company how do you test which of them is better so we learn a simple concept called a b testing uh, which we'll employ to understand which of the techniques uh, works better in the real world at the end we leave you with an exercise we explain you what the problem is very clearly and i strongly recommend all of you to spend a, a few minutes of your time typically 30 to 60 minutes as i told you a little earlier uh, in solving this exercise and submit it to us so that we can give you a workshop completion certificate